Good morning, welcome back to episode 17. 18. Fuck, I thought I nailed it this time. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to episode 18. We are in a different location. We're south of Swamp. I served here yesterday. It was super fun, kind of crowded. A bunch of grogs. Good to see them. The waves are fun. Looks like it's about head high. So, perfect day to explain to you guys why thrusters and twin fins are different or how. Oh my god, it's so crowded. <laughs> oh my god. So, I'm dropping off Ryan and now I'm gonna skate down because e bikes are for losers. See you there. <laughs> All right, we made we made it down to the local beachy, and we got Nico Coli, special guest, the best beach break hammer in the world. Yeah, sand bottom beach break. Yeah, Remy, pumping. <laughs> it's pumping. Lowers one hundred one is there is locals out here. <laughs> is there? Yeah, bro. F I serve you every day. <laughs> Rule number two: you just gotta look behind you. And then if you're paddling and you're in the way of someone, paddle into the whitewash because it slowers and you're not going to get pounded. You know, it's like super super chill. Don't ruin someone else's way to go in the whitewash. Just duck dive it, dude. Not that hard. <laughs> and don't go on my left. And don't go on Colton's right. Yeah, let Nico go. <laughs> I feel like a good rule of thumb is like boot somebody into a wave. Yeah. You don't Whatever. even have to say their name, just like tell just them to like, go. go. And then the next one, someone will be like, oh, go. Yeah. You know, and then it works like, out. And then there's just like a line and everyone's just like, Swim. Swim. be Swim. patient. Yeah, bro. Patience You'll is You'll get a key. wave, it's going to come. Don't be a little. A punk. Yeah, just don't be a punk. What happens if you act like a punk, Nico? You're going to get burned or you're going to get run over. That's another rule. Don't mess with me. You see Uncle Waro Palin, I don't even look at the way. That's true. Well, that's, that's respect. True. That's it's, just the... It's the totem pole. Yeah, that's life. The, that's like, you wouldn't show up into a corporate office and go barking at the CEO and, like, taking the water spout before he gets his water. <laughs> like, you let the CEO go first, so... Let the big dog that's been yeah. holding it down before we were born show what's up. Dude, I had to snap on some kids this way. They are like, way out the back. Oh, little buddies. You guys are gonna sit out here, you guys better wait your turn. It's like six other old guys out here waiting. And me. So you guys are at the end. So this is the f way it works. There's no different. Why does it have to be different out of those? No. Exactly. Show them spit. You get some back. Maybe. Okay. First, first up for the surf. Fishy. It's official. Don't put a leash on your fish. Yeah, no, no, no leashes on me. No, fishes are meant to be swimming by themselves, free.
Oh, that was super fun. Really glad that I switched boards. Just felt like I had more projection out of my turns and a lot more drive, a lot more control over my board. Waves felt like they kept getting bigger. The sun came out, it's a freaking beautiful day. It's nice to just open up and surf somewhere else, see some friends, Jake Davis, Nico Cola, Yaden Nickel, uh, Chris Ward, Cole Hauschman, Taj Lindblad. We'll go down to the shop, I'll tell you why, or what I think why the twin fin didn't work so well for me here rather than Creek and how the twin and the thruster felt different. So stay tuned, check back in. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck wood. A woodchuck would chuck more than a woodchuck could. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to you, sir. Home of lots of jokes. <laughs> All right, so the main difference that you get a lot of the times between twin fins and thrusters is twin fins will track. They'll go super straight. Look at this thing. The rail line's super straight back here, right? And look at this thing. This is a five fin in this hand. Five, two. Look at how curved the rail line is out the tail. It's probably gonna allow you to turn a little bit sharper, surf a little bit tighter. And then if you look at the rocker here, you can kind of tell that this one's a lot flatter out the tail, whereas this one has a lot more kick in it. A lot more like the end. So basically twin fins, you get a lot more tracky feeling where it goes really straight and it doesn't want to turn whether you're on rail or not. Now that can be fixed by where you put your feet and what kind of fins that you put in your surfboard. I really like the Hobie Keels from True Ames, great fins. In episode 17, when I rode that twin fin out at Creek, I was doing like 12 o'clock snaps on it. You can grind it out and make it happen. But when I went over to Lowers and rode the same exact board, I was like having a tough time really getting it to go 12 o'clock and do like the type of surfing that I wanted to do. And I blame that on the fact that there wasn't as much punch in the wave. There wasn't as much juice and the pockets are a lot more almondy at lowers, whereas Creek's a little bit more like round and circular tight pocket. So that little 5-3 fish will fit in those tight pockets. It's all the rocker in the tail of it. Whereas lowers, it was kind of like not wanting to do the really long rail line turn that I wanted it to. Less drag on a twin fin. You have nothing in the center be slowing you down at all and usually a lot of the times twin fins have paneled V or basically the stringer line is higher up than the rail line if you to look at it this way stringer is higher than the rail so when you're on it it feels like a gyro you can kind of like roll from side to side and engage either rail depending on which way you want to turn whereas thrusters typically a lot of time now granted they could have different options but a lot of the times thrusters are single concave or double concave or something like that. The stringer line is lower or equal to the rail line. Many different kinds of twin fins that you could get. A little less drag, a little bit more carvey, more flow, usually flatter rocker, longer rail line turns. Basically, you can still be super high performance just like you can be on a thruster. It's just you have to make the right twin fin for the right waves. That's why we have so many surfboards. Get a bunch and you figure out which ones you like and which conditions. So I hope that taught you a little bit about what twin fins are, what they do, and how they feel. But thrusters work really well too. Just like I wrote today, twin fin was kind of like feeling sluggish, kind of feeling funky, not wanting to do the turns that I wanted it to. And I got on the thruster and it felt way faster, more drivey, more projection out of the turns, just like all around better board. Go out, get yourself a twin fin, summertime's coming up. It's usually a really good board to have in your truck for summer. You do, they have twin fins here. Keep stoked, come in to use surf. Tune back in next week for a little bit about what channels do in a surfboard. So we're gonna go ride that next week. And yeah, thanks for tuning back in.